Hey, I'm Dr. Barrett Martin with Johnson Optometric. Today we're going to talk about hyperopia. Hyperopia is also referred to as farsightedness. It's one of the hardest conditions to explain to patients, so let's first talk about what a normal eye uh, has to do in order to focus. So a normal meaning no prescription at all, then we'll compare that to farsightedness. In a normal eye, when you look over about 10 feet away, anything off in the distance, the focus muscles are completely relaxed and the image is nice and clear. Then when you look at something up close, you have to use a little bit of uh, strain and focus in order to see that image up close. In comparison, farsightedness, a farsighted eye has to actually strain just to see images far away. Then when you look at something up close, you've got to use distance strain plus what's needed at near. So in a farsighted eye, the, all, the eyes are always straining to keep the image clear. In a young patient, this is perfectly fine. It doesn't cause any damage as long as it's a low amount of farsightedness. Their focus muscles um, can, can just focus right through it and everything's nice and clear. However, you can have too much farsightedness. This sometimes will lead to eye strain and headaches, uh, but also some kids will not complain of that. So if they have too much farsightedness, this can cause the eyes to start turning inward and could develop, uh, could lead to lazy eye. We definitely recommend that any child is seen and, and we perform a full eye exam before they start kindergarten. This is a great time to, to be able to rule out uh, any of these problems that they may have and help them get on the right track as they start their school career. All right, for any other questions about eye care, you can certainly watch more of our videos on YouTube. And thank you for letting us take care of you.